Hey there, we are in week 4 libraries and today I am going to discuss problem number 5 from this problem set 4, Little Professor. I have already created a solution video for the remaining 4 problems of this problem set 4 and all the problems from week, uh, problem set 0, 1, 2 and 3. I will share the link of the playlist into the description box, you can go and check those videos out. Jumping to the problem, this was a bit difficult problem for me why i will explain it to you in a minute first of all let us see what the problem is asking here we are being asked to create a program that is going to prompt the user for a level n and if the user does not input one two or three so these are the only three valid levels that you can accept the program should output the uh, prompt the user again so far so good next step is that then randomly generate 10 math problems formatted as x plus y equal to wherein each of x and y is a non-negative integer with n digits. No need to support operations other than addition. So only addition we need to take care of. No subtraction, multiplication, etc. Prompt the user to solve each of these problems. If the answer is not correct or even not a number, then program should output e e e that is three times e and prompt the user again allowing the user up to three times three tries in total for that problem and even in the three attempts if the user cannot answer the correct answer then the program should output the correct answer and finally you need to ultimately output the user's score and cs50 has given here a basic structure of the program how we have to write it now coming back to why I said th I found this problem a bit difficult is that I always I did not pay attention to one particular line here here that where in x of each of x and y here if let me highlight this with integer non negative where in each of x and y is a non negative integer with n digits so I did could not decipher the meaning of n digits here so the trick here is that if the user is selecting a level 1 then x plus y has to be where in each x and y it has to be of one digit so from x can be from x and y it could be any number from 0 to 9 if the user selects 2 then x and y has to be from 10 till 99 and if the user selects 3 then x and y has to be a number in between the range 100 to 999 so that was the missing part with this background let us jump into the code spaces here i have already copied the code or pseudo code whatever you want to call it given by the cs50 let's jump into the program i am going to start with first of all get underscore level function i will be writing these two functions uh, get underscore level and generate underscore integer and then after i will be coming to the main body main as per the problem statement the only three acceptable user levels are one two and three and we need to keep prompting the user till the time user enters one of these values therefore i am going to start with while true after while true i am going to write because we need to check if the level is in between 1 2 and 3 but before that we need to have the level so i am going to define a variable called level and i am going to accept using input function wrong spelling level like this i am going to change it into int why because input a statement input function always returns a star and we have to use this number into a random library here you can see cs50 has already given random library so it has to be a number now that we have accepted the number we have to check whether if it is between 1 2 or 3 or not so we can write something like this or we can do it smartly by doing the membership check like this so i will prefer this way if it is in bit if it is either of these three values one level 
is of three values one two and three then i am going to say return level so it is all right else i will say continue what does continuous statement do continuous statement is going to skip the further quotes and start the iteration again from the beginning now we need to handle the value error so i am going to write here accept value error again we need to continue so this is here so we have defined level so we are done with get level now the next part is to generate the integer how do we do that remember if the level is 1 then x and y should be from 0 to 9 if level is 2 then it should be from 10 to 99 and if it is level 3 then x and y has to be one any number between 100 to triple 9 that is 999 and that is what i am going to do over here if level is equal to equal to 1 then i am going to generate x is equal to random dot rand int and i am going to say here between 0 to not dot it should be comma and y is equal to again random dot rand int 0 to 9 here it should be 9 not 0 rand int function it is going to generate a number between these two ranges including both the numbers so it, it can generate any number from 0 to 9 like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 let me copy this these two line of codes and come down here l if level is equal to equal to 2 then it should be from 10 oh, not here i have to write here 99 and here also 99 and it should be 10 else now we are left with only third choice if we have dealt with one level one level two and now the third choice is it has to be level three so this time it has this number has to be between 100 to 999 so we are done with this and then finally we are going to return x and wrong spelling x and y now that we have created the two functions get underscore level and generate underscore integer let us go back and jump to the main body of the program here i am going to create a variable called a score and set it to zero reason being when you start playing the game your score is zero also your number of tries is set is zero once when you are starting the game so i am going to define this variable also and i am going to set it to zero and then I am going to define one more variable called i and I am also going to set it to 0 i I am going to use for the increment purposes you will come to see it just in a minute now I am going to say here level is equal to get underscore level so whatever here we have defined get underscore where is get underscore level here so whatever the user is entering either 1 2 or 3 it will be returned using line at 15 here so get underscore level <laughs> next i am going to say that while i is less than 10 because there are 10 attempts maximum for the user again try block if number of tries is equal to equal to zero then i am going to define here two variable called x and y and they are going to have the value generated by get integer and get integer is going to accept the level here so where is my here so 
get integer is accepting the level that has been passed from here 1 2 or 3 and depending upon that it is going to generate two random numbers x and y so i am going to assign here receive those x and y here next is that now we have to do the math mathematics so now i am saying answer is equal to int again because input and i am going to use a f string here x plus y is equal to y because if you come to the demo video that is given here <clears throat> if you see user has selected level 1 2 plus 8 we have to print 2 plus 8 equal to 10 something like that and that is why i am using here f string so x and y will be replaced with this um, the values here yeah next is i am going to handle the exception error except again value error wrong spelling value error i am going to say print e e e if you check this line over here <clears throat> if the answer if an answer is not correct or even not even a number the program should output e e e and prompt the user again so this is what i am handling here and i am going to increment the number of tries by one else in try and accept i'll we have we have got four things basically try accept else and finally so it goes something like that first of all it is going to try this if there is an exception error then it, it is going to jump over here else it will be executing the code here and whatever you put into the finally block that is all that always get executed doesn't matter whatever it is so let's write here else now if I am going I am going to write here else if answer is equal to equal to if the user has given the correct answer x plus y then we have to increase the s score by 1 and the number of tries also by 1 both the things and s score also it is going to be incremented by 1 and our i is also going to be incremented by 1 now let us handle if the answer is not correct then what we need to do then again we need to print 3 times e like here and number of tries will be incremented wrong spelling i am writing number of tries will be incremented by one and if we have remember one thing we have to give the user maximum three times after that if we we need to print the correct answer as a programmer so so far we have done now we are going to check about the number of tries if number of tries is equal to equal to 3 then i am going to increment i again by 1 and then i am going to print the correct using the f string the correct answer fx plus y is equal to fx plus y and I am going to set number of tries back to 0 because once user has attempt for one question three times and is still not able to answer we are going to answer it as a programmer and next problem starts and then again the user can attempt for three more times this is how the cycle goes now finally I believe that we need to print the score print 
go something like this we have been increasing there yeah so i think this is it we can try to run this program let us see professor dot pi i am going to start with level one three plus zero is equal to three i am writing okay again it has generated four times the same set of numbers because we are using rand int so now here i am going to write an incorrect option so instead of 10 i am going to put here 9 now it is printing me e e e and again the same question is repeated again i am going to write here 3 one so far i have given answer two times incorrectly and again i am going to put in input incorrect value so this time the program should give me the correct answer so i am inputting here 1 now it is giving me correct answer 15 uh, sorry 10 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 that is fine 9 plus 6 again now i am going to write 16 it is going to prompt me again if i write here rat it is prompting me again it is going out of the loop here so i am just putting here 6 6 6 so a score is 7 times so this is what my score is i have answered three incorrect and uh, questions you can check it out with the two digits as well but i would like to jump on to the cs50 checks and i am putting it over here and it is connecting let us see what does cs50 say i hope that everything is in green waiting for the results i am pushing it a little up so that we can see everything here waiting for the results uh, I don't know why does it take so much of time but anyways till the time it is fetching up the results checking the results I would like to say that I have published some videos related to python basics also on my youtube channel like python strings sets lists tuples and dictionaries and the associated methods I will share the link of that python basic playlist also into the description box please go ahead and check those videos out so we have got the results and as i was expecting everything to be in green which is not the case so let us see what we have done wrong here let us get back to the debugging here i think get underscore level is correct there is nothing wrong here generate underscore integer also looks good so the problem seems to be in the main body of the program let us check it out together while here the variables have been defined correctly i is less than 10 fine number of tries equal to zero exit value error error if, ah okay here we got it if and if you see this block of if if the answer is x plus y is equal to x plus y so if i am entering 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 which is correct then the number of tries will become 0 why because i need not attempt the three ta uh, three times it i have answered it correctly i will move to the next question so it has to be made 0 so with this now let us check again cs50 now i hope that everything should be in green keeping fingers crossed this time and i hope it does not take much of time now we have got the results here you see how long it took for the result let me bring it a little up here and this time indeed everything is in green so our program is correct successful and we are good to submit it this is it for this video if you find this video useful consider subscribing to my channel <coughs> liking this video share it with your friends who are pursuing cs50 until that time, happy coding.